Here we go. We're live. Hey, good morning. 5 a.m. Mr. Scrum Show. I hope you're doing well today. And today is our 659th episode. And there goes a notification because I rang the bell twice. So we get the notifications. Um, scrum value of commitment and conflict. And we're going to go through all the scrum values and how it helps with conflict um, resolution, right? And co- not just resolution, getting high performing teams through conflicting issues. So the scrum values, commitment, focus, openness, respect, and courage, right? So we're going to go through those throughout this week. Today's episode is con- is going to stick to commitment and how it deal. How do you commitment help you go through conflict as a team? And I am Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach, and this is the Five AM Master Scrum Show, where we talk about Scrum and Agile in a practical and tactical way, so you can get value to your customer, get home to family and friends because you're not working crazy hours to get that value to the customer, and have some fun work and get home so you can have more right it's all about fun and enjoying life so this can be a short one because i'm behind schedule today and got a dog over here taking up half the, the, the chair here um commitment how does that help with conflict people might ask different things what do you mean commitment to like story sprints um commitment to getting stuff done I think part of commitment helps with this is also your in your commitments, you build team's norms, definition ready, definition done. Having those three documents is a form of commitment to the team. So there's multiple things that go here. So you get your three documents. We just talked about the trio. That is a commitment by the team to solve a problem. But is that conflict? Those three documents will help you minimize the occurrence of conflict because you all agree what you want to do, whether it be team norms, how you want to operate and people like, oh, they're always late, always early, or we never start on time or we take too much time. We do. So-and-so talks too much or no one updates Jira or whatever the system is, right? And then you got your definition ready. Definition ready is, you know, we never get the information. There's conflict conflict going. There's not enough information in the story. We can't point it. We have a problem. We spend all day bitching and moaning about pointing or estimating the size of the work because we don't have enough information. Definition done. Well, you said it was done, but it's not really done because we got to do this and we got to run this test and we haven't put it here and this and that and the other thing. So that's all conflict. That's all forms of conflict. More negative conflict. So those documents help that. But what is commitment really? When you have a team that's really committed to each other, making commitments, like when you're in a conflict, it's, you can think of it this way. How many times do you ever hear, don't ever go to bed mad with your spouse, wherever your spouse is? Because if you go to bed mad, it just draws negative things, right? So the commitment is that you talk before you go to bed and talk about the issues so you don't dwell on them overnight, release them, share them, talk about them a little bit. So that's part of the conflict resolution, the conflict negotiation among a team. The commitment is to try your best to find good middle ground. Not to say what's everyone concurs, but maybe there's some good middle ground in your conflict issue. Solutions. People committed to helping each other solve a problem. So that's as basic as it gets. We got those documents, but really the commitment between a team or two people is to work together to solve the problem. So you're committed So you're committed to work with your teammates to solve those conflict problems, to invest the time, to give them time to help provide that information, to be dedicated, to be like a team norm, to concentrate, to focus on what you're doing. So that's part of the commitment. So the scrum value of commitment helps you as a team perform high performance in a number of ways. But one of the ways is committing to work with each other to solve the problem and take whatever time it needs to get the problem done. So commitment is to the team. All these other meetings everybody wants you to go to. I always wonder when sometimes when people say, oh, I have these other meetings. What other meetings? You commit to the team. We as a team solve. 
this other meetings are secondary to what the team needs. So that's what I want to share today. I'm keeping these short, small little tidbits. I hope that helps with people and how commitment helps with conflict on a team. With that, I'm going to say, please give us a thumbs up. Enjoy. I hope everybody's enjoying a short work week. A lot of things to do, a lot of fun, a lot of adventures. And ring the bell once, not twice. And uh, enjoy. And just a story. So apparently Betty eats seaweed. I don't know. She ate the nori package that I had there. So with that sound, I think I have a meeting I got to go to. So I will say goodbye and uh, see you tomorrow. Happy scrumming and take care. All right. Bye, everyone.